When they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, what are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. He answered them, you faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. Lord, I do believe, truly, despite my doubts, despite my questions, I do believe. Not that my faith is perfect, I'm not saying that. There's still much that puzzles me. Much I'd like to ask about you further, given the chance. But I believe you're different. That you can change lives in a way others can't. That you can bring hope where there's despair, joy where there's sorrow, peace where there's turmoil, love where there's hate. And I need those things now as never before, not for myself, but for my son. He's suffering, you see, troubled in body and mind day after day thrown into terrible convulsions. And, Lord, I'm afraid of what might happen, what he might do to himself when the fits come upon him. It's breaking my heart seeing him like this, having to stand by helpless as he writhes and groans. Yet I've tried everything, Every doctor, every healer, even your own disciples, all to no avail. Not one has been able to help, none able to provide the answer I long to find. So I've come finally to you, my last throw of the dice. And I'm begging you, Lord, help. Oh, I know I don't deserve it. I'm not pretending otherwise. I have my doubts, all too many, barely understanding half of what you teach, and even what does make sense is hard to accept. I don't have the makings of a disciple. I realise that. All kinds of things wrong in my life. Ask anyone. And though I want to change... 
to become the person you would have me be. I'm not sure I could come anywhere near it. In fact, though I say I believe, I'm not even certain of that, for I'm torn in two. Half of me sure, half of me not. My faith and doubt warring together, each battling for the upper hand, each ebbing and flowing as the mood takes me. Yet, I've seen what you've been able to do for others. I've heard about the wonders you perform. And I'm sure that if anyone can help me, then it's you. So you see, I do believe a little, not as much as I should, but I do believe. And I'm trying so hard to believe more. In the meantime, I'm begging you, Lord, on bended knee, I'm begging you, help my unbelief. Lord, you know our faith isn't perfect. There is much that we don't understand, much that we question, and much that is not all it ought to be. Despite our love for you, we find it difficult to trust as we know we should, the things we don't believe triumphing over the things we do. Yet for all its weakness, you know that our faith is real, and you know that we long to serve you better. Take, then, what we are and what we offer, and through your grace provide what we lack until the faith we profess with our lips may be echoed in our lives and our faith be made complete. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 